Okay, guess where I am? I'm in a crawl space. This is day two of a two day job. Um, this is a crawl space encapsulation in combination with the sub slab depressurization. I say that three times fast. So, this is a split level house with an unvented crawl space. It's, it's kind of, I don't see a lot of these. And so, this is, I'm in the furthest corner. Lots of stuff has gone wrong for me, um, but we're over the hump here. So we're in the corner where the fan is, that's right outside the house here. So it's coming in and, all right, so we're gonna split off here and we're converted to inch and a half. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and run multiple suction points throughout the crawl space. And then the main trunk line, uh, I have to back up off of it a little bit here. All right, we're running that way on down there, and I'm tapping into the uh, the slab of the basement here, um, way the heck on down there. Why didn't I do it here? Well, I got faked out. You know, I, I know a little about a lot, but not everything. So, um, like, there's a footer right there, and for some reason it is staggered whole block higher way over there so I've got it marked okay. you see where it says floor so that's where the floor is on the other side in the basement and if I would if I I can't go six inches below that you know how we like to do six inches below should get you under the slab well that's the footer right there there you see it okay so, luckily, uh, we do have a, a better spot to get under it, but it is way on down there. So, hang tight and I'll show you. Okay, so we're on the other side of the basement now. So, I've got this 4-inch PVC coming from way over there, coming over here, going down, and under the slab here. See, there's the floor. Sort of just catching that right for some reason it was not going to accommodate us over there can't explain why but just got to deal with the the cards that you're dealt you know you don't want to screw over the next contractor somebody's going to have to replace that furnace uh, someday and want to make extra special sure to give them all the room they can get uh, to get this thing out of there and a new one in someday that will have to be replaced um, I have to watch out for these kind of things with water heaters as well. But anyway, we, we did right by the next guy. Manometer. This right here. Um, you know, nobody's going to crawl in here to check out the manometer. So uh, this is Ice Maker line, which works perfectly in place of the uh, tube that they give you with the manometer kit. And I've got that run out here. Okay, we're now out of the cross space. There's manometer system not fired up yet, so it's set at zero. I'll walk you out so you can kind of get a perspective on uh, what we're working with here. Right. So I'll be under there. By the way, my name is Scott. I am a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators, those looking to get into the business. If you're a homeowner and you hang out, be sure and check out www.nrsb.org. It's National Radon Safety Board. Plug in your zip code, put you in touch with a certified radon professional in your area. All right. And there's the fan. Voila. We had to thread a couple needles to get this thing done because this is a uh, retractable awning and uh, of course we got the gutter and actually to power the fan there was an outlet right behind there but I couldn't get to it because of the gutter but anyway we're gonna land on our feet just fine like we always do all right I need to get back under that house and put some plastic down for a few hours. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so we have completed 
um, attaching the inch and a half pipe off that main four inch stack and we have routed it to multiple suction points throughout the crawl space. Got my trusty sled here, moves all my stuff around while I slither like a snake under stuff like this. Um, Alright, so now we are going to put down the plastic underlayment. Alright, we've just about encapsulated this crawl space. Um, so basically all you see is shiny black darkness. But big difference in what it was. So, the object of the exercise is to pull from under that, and uh, now I'll get the radon out of here. Um, I wish it was more action packed to show you because I've really worked hard at it. At any rate, raw space encapsulation combined with sub slab depressurization. Don't see that every day. Alright, take care. Have a good one.